Hey, 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 it is day 18 of marketing fun. Let's have some fun today. Um, uh, one of the questions that I got is, you know, how do I present my resume to people? And I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? You know, you're a business owner. Well, no, I want to, I want to show them, you know, all my education and everything that I've done. And I'm like, well, you as an entrepreneur, people don't care too much about their, your resume, right? They don't care that you have degrees. Um, they don't care how much schooling you have. They don't care that you went to somebody's uh, coaching program and you have a certificate from it now. They don't care. So how you show up in the market is just how you show up in the market, right? Like you posting your resume is only going to get you a job. If you want a client, if you want a customer, it's important that you prove that you can solve their problem. And the only way to prove that you can solve their problem is by doing it, right? It's by doing it. So what are you doing right now in your business to prove that you can do it? What is it? So here's an example of that. So if you are an accountant, right? If you're an accountant, then you need to prove that you've helped people do blank. Is it... Um, are you an organizational accountant? So you just help them get organized and know where the money's going and show them the profit. Yes. Are you an accountant that helps them save money in taxes? Are you an accountant that um, a forensic account, you can tell if somebody's stealing money from the business, right? Are you a, a profit first accountant, right? If you've read that book and now you help people put things in different categories to make sure that they're always um, paying themselves first, right? Uh, do you help them structure their business correctly? Like what type of accountant are you? And that will do it. Now, if you say everything, well, how do people know that? And so one of the things that I just did for you is showed you what are the benefits and that's how you should structure your content, your information, your website, your brochure. It shouldn't just say, I am a blank, blank, and blank, right? I have this degree, this degree, and this degree. Well, what does that mean by you having that degree? So how you get better at this marketing thing is explaining what that means. And so I am a marketing strategist. Okay, well, what does that mean? Right? Instead of people saying, what does that mean? It's like, I help entrepreneurs, six-figure entrepreneurs get to seven figures by creating and structuring strategic partnerships for them. Okay, great. Now they know that this is the little box that I'm in. Now, do I write copy? Do I write copy for emails? Yes. Do I create ads for them? Yes. Can I create an ad for their magazine? Yes. Can I create an ad for TV? Yes. Can I write the brochure? Yes. However, where I like to be in the world, in the marketing world, who I am is I love to put partnerships together because here's what I found, that when you find someone who has your exact client, your exact client in a non-competing industry and you guys share clients? Oh my gosh. So my strategic partners are, I have a PR consultant. That's one of my strategic partners. I have an SEO consultant. I have a web designer. I have a graphic artist. And I have an account. Okay. Those are just the first ones. I have second tier. I have banks. I have lots of other ones, but those four, right? So how does the graphic artist send customers to me? Well, when people come to their 
and say, hey, I just need you to design a logo. She says, well, for what? Right. Well, for this particular business. Okay, well, what do you want to use it for? Well, I want to use it for everything, da, 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 da. Well, have you talked to a marketing strategist, some who could help you put together partnerships or really kind of solidify it so that you could get what you, I think what you want, which is new clients? Yes. Would you like to talk to my partner, Rochelle? Oh, I'd love to. And you see? So when people come to me and they say, I want to put um, partnerships together, Rochelle, I go, great. I start looking at their stuff and I'm like, well, your graphics are awful, right? It looks like you did them. Did you do your own graphics? Yeah, I did my own graphics. Perfect. I have a an amazing graphic artist who is fantastic, who could put all this stuff together. Do you want to meet Karen? my accountant. Great. I'm looking at your books. Um, seems like you need to get more clients for 2024. Yes, I do. Ah, do you want to meet um, my favorite client? It's Rochelle. She's a marketing strategist and she can help you like get new clients. And actually she helped me triple my business. And she took me from 125,000 to over a million dollars. I'd love to meet Rochelle. See, and me. Well, great. You're making a ton of money. You really want to talk to my accountant, Walter. He's fantastic. Actually, he's an entrepreneur, so he structures things totally different. He's not just a CPA who's like, you can't deduct that. You can't deduct that. He's a little bit more aggressive, but that's why I love Walter. Do you want to talk to Walter? Great. Now you see, I have strategic partners that are verticals of my business, right? They either need me before or after, but we're all sending business back to each other. What an ideal situation. So that when you are looking at your business, it's not just go get those partners, but it's figure out like, are they good? Are they good for you? Does it make sense? Are they greedy? Are they gonna share the wealth? Is this who you want? Is this who you, who you trust and refer? But it's understanding who you are in the marketplace. And it's not show me your resume, right? It is telling what those things on your resume mean. So yes, of course, if you are a lawyer and you say you're a lawyer, then we know you went to law school, right? I don't need to have your, your letters after that. If you say you're a lawyer, you're a lawyer. Right? But what are you going to do? Are you going to protect me from lawsuits? Are you going to protect my assets so that people can't steal my digital products? Are you going to um, make sure that uh, protect me from, um, from client chargebacks? Are you going to make sure that people fulfill their agreements when they work with me? What is the benefit? So if you always start with what does that mean and what is the benefit, it makes it 10 times easier for people to know exactly who you are and to pick you, not just pick some random, but to pick you so that they know that you are the trusted entity. Okay, so that is, they're like, is that marketing? Yes, it's marketing. Every single piece of this is marketing. That is going to help people get very clear on who you are and it's gonna help you segment your list, right? I understand that you do all of these things, but when you say that you do all of these things and when you target everybody, you talk to no one. You talk to no one because they go, oh, that's not for me. Oh, they do that stuff. People only hear about 10% of what you say to them, right? They skim through your stuff. They don't actually read it. But we write long form in case you do have one or two clients that actually read it. The majority of people just go to your bullet points. So if you're not clear about who you help and those bullet points aren't benefit driven, then it's not going to make it. Now, if you just happen to be watching and you do want a job, change your resume to benefit driven of what you're going to do for the company. Ta -da! They'll pick you. They'll at least interview you. So they want to know how you're going to do it. All marketing works.
and it all works in every segment. It's just about how you spin it to work. All right. Hey, day 18, we're having a great, great time. My goodness. <laughs> um, yes, let's go ahead and talk about Las Vegas again. Um, we've got a spot open for the strategic partner boot camp, right? Where I am your matchmaker three days with me in Las Vegas. And we'll find those trusted entities that are constantly sending to you so that you're not out, but in your cocoon, people are just going back and forth, back and forth, right? Every time the four of y'all get one, it turns into a client for each of you. Like I did this with a wedding planner. And she made sure that she had partnerships with photographers, with um, a photographer, with a, uh, a dressed place, and a caterer. And so when people came in, and the venue, right? If people came into the venue, then they said, hey, I have a wedding planner for you, a photographer for you, and a place where you can get your dress, and a caterer. Okay. Constantly sending referrals back and forth in the strategic partnerships and when it works it's oh, so so lovely right? um you just have to make sure that a lot of people go oh i have five photographers okay well now is the, the photographer if you have five then are they going to refer back to you right so you have to think about who you want to do your strategic partnerships with i always like to do it with two steps up right? Somebody who's got a ton of those clients who can't wait and has not got an albatross around their neck and relying on you to send over customers. Cause what if you don't, right? What if you don't? Um, but that's, that's what we do in the three-day boot camp. Like we go down through who's the best person to choose and how you all make this work. So if you need some help making it all work, uh, let me know. All right. Today, day 18, um, let's get after it. Have a great, great day. See you. Bye.